So how many of you are are like me and just love the ZT04 52 CF but just absolutely cannot carry around a knife that requires a scabbard? Okay, I'm kidding about the scabbard part, but it is a little impractical for some and it is just a fantastic knife. You do have options for a smaller version, but not one that looks exactly like this. You either get the stonewashed titanium scales with the satin blade or the all blacked out version if you want the carbon fiber. Today's episode of Blade Trade is gonna fix that very problem. Hey, I'm Jay, and if you're looking to buy a knife and you need to see what it's like first before you drop your hard-earned money on it, here's what you gotta do. Click on subscribe so I can help you and remember to click that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Tools required today. Well, of course, you're gonna need two ZT 0450s, the blacked out version and the satin and stonewash titanium one. Also, a Torx number eight for the pivot screw, a T6 for the body screws, and I also will be using my little uh, four prong claw kind of grabby deal. And if you're wondering exactly what this is, I did do a very quick video showing the value of this tool. So at the end of this video, you look up to the corner, click on the card, and you can watch. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click on that subscribe button if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. So let's go ahead and start with the blacked out version since we, we need to harvest only a few parts from this one. Now that we have the black one disassembled, uh, the only part that I need from it, well, actually the, the black screws. So we're gonna need what? The black carbon fiber scale, just the one. We're gonna need, yep, you can see the black screws. The pivot, I still don't know which direction I'm gonna go in, if I'm gonna use the satin one or the black because obviously we don't have this exact pivot screw. And let's go ahead and take this one apart. Okay, now that we have this one apart, let's get rid of the pieces that we don't need. Boy, which we use, would he, oh man. Do we use the, the red standoffs or the green? Oh man. No, I don't wanna do one of each. Let's go with the green. Yep, I'm just made an executive decision. Green it is. Okay, now let's go ahead and start reassembly. God, there is like no dirt inside here at 
all. Wow. No oil either. Now here's something that I had just learned and the, okay, so the blacked out version, since the one side is carbon fiber, what ZT did was there's a little washer that is, that sits in there. So the bearings has something to spin on. The satin version does not have this washer. So, I tried to put it together without it and it did not work. So now I'm going to have to use the black, from the blacked out version, I'm using the, the stop pin and both sides of the pivot. So let's finish putting it together and this should, uh, this should work. Okay, let's go ahead and check all of the, I'm gonna go ahead and check all the screws really quick. Make sure everything is nice and tight. Let's see, how are we looking in the center there? Good, good, good. Okay, ready? Moment of truth. <laughs> wow. Let's see. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, that is so smooth. Wow. Oh man, am I pleased. Okay, let's get some of these tools. I wanna get some of the tools out of the way and some of the parts that we're not gonna use right now and then Let's take a look. All right, so checking this up against our printout. And then of course, and you are seeing this correctly. I, I don't know why, but I blew this one up so much larger than this. I, I don't know, anyway. So now just a few things to remember, okay? If you do this with the blacked out one, you really, you wanna make sure that you also remember to take the washer. The washer has to go on the carbon fiber side because then it gives the bearing on this same side something to, you know, to, to rotate on. Now, when I tried to use the satin 
pivot screws and the satin the satin uh, let me grab it stop pin there was it was rubbing so there was something going on that prevented it from you know uh, having a smooth operation as soon as I went ahead and changed it to the black hardware you can see it's not in there everything worked well perfectly look at that so hopefully this video helps you guys out and hey, hey remember would you if, if you like this if, if you you found any value here today you know why not why not go ahead and just leave me a thumbs up and don't forget click on that subscribe button if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point hey you guys hit me up if you have any questions about this and I'll be glad to help